What's going on YouTube? Bird here and in today's video we are taking a look at one of my new favorite weapons in Fallout 76. The Anti-Armor Faster Fire Rate Pepper Shaker. But before we get into the video make sure you smash that like button with the way the Fallout 76 community can see this and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. So to start off everything, the Brotherhood has still has sent me to a few locations around the map because we have some giant targets terrorizing the wasteland and we need to put a stop to it. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you the build that I'm using, the weapon, and how to get its mods. But just keep in mind, this is an anti-armor faster fire rate. With that being said, this is a crippling build, so I'm going to make sure to just go ahead and cripple the Myler Queen, so then I can just have my way. Oh, might want to get a little bit closer so we can kind of hit her, you know. Goodbye, Myler Queen. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is just shredding straight through her. She stands in no chance. She has no idea what's going on. Honestly, neither do I. This has just blown my mind. Holy cow. And I do have this set up as a VATS build, so in VATS I do a little bit more damage. But holy cow. These giant beasts are going to stand in no chance. Now let's move on to the next target. The next target on my list that the brother would want me to take down, I am kind of ashamed of. This is actually my pet Scorch Beast Charlie, and I was supposed to have her tamed and chilling at the house. But she kind of got loose and started causing all sorts of havoc with her scorched friends. As you can see, they're just over here saying, Yo, you're not going to take Charlie, and now uh, BS, I'm taking her back, man. Okay, whether she's knocked out or not, I'm going to take those guys down real quick because, you know, I don't like these guys at all. Charlie wouldn't even be acting like this if the Scorch weren't around, so. Charlie! I'm gonna need you to get over here. Stop flying around like I'm not here. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. I can either shoot you out of the sky, or I can wait till you hit the ground. It's your choice, but I'm gonna start shooting you in the sky. Sadly, it's a shotgun, so we don't have that far of range, but we can still do some damage. Bring it on, Scorched. Oh, Charlie. Uh-oh, there she is. This is not good news for Charlie. I'm sorry. Face shots it is, Charlie. And just like that, Charlie is just knocked out. She's not dead. I'm going to drag her back to my camp, and let's move on to the next target. It's a little bit foggy out here, but for our next target on the list, the Brotherhood wants me to take down a super mutant behemoth that goes by the name Sugar Plums. Sugar Plums do not be fooled by the name. Sugar Plums is very vicious and mean and will attack on sight. You know, I'm trying to sneak around that way I don't uh, awaken it and get jumped and smashed or something like that. So I'm just kind of, you know, making my way over there. Hey, Sugar Plums, how's it going? How's it going? Just go. Make it fast, make it fast. Go, 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 go. Shh, we can't wake up Sugar Plums. That's what happened to the last guy that did. Uh oh, uh oh. We've done woke it up. We've done woke it up. Goodbye, Sugar Plums. You'll stand in no chance. Stupid lag. You stand in no chance. Goodbye, Sugar Plums. Now, let's move on to another target. Now for the next part of the demonstrations, the Brotherhood of Still has sent me to the White Springs Golf Club. That way I can get swarmed and show you how well this weapon works in right situations. With well, that being said, we're not going to be sneaking whatsoever. And these guys peeve me off. So I'm going to just you know, wake them up roughly. Wake up. Wake up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we don't want to get smacked by them, though, because we do not have any block or anything like that on, so we won't have the best defense, though we'll survive. Wake up, all of you ghouls, wake up. I even turned on my flashlight. Y'all don't like lights, I heard. Ha ha ha. Wake up, ghouls. Wakey, wakey, wakey. Now, there is a ton of ghouls in here, so if you did not... Oh my gosh, and a rad stag. If you didn't know that there's a ton of ghouls in here, you could co totally come in here and uh, level up. This is a place to do it, especially if you're at low level. But, that's not what we're here for. We're here to destroy these guys in groups. So, with that being said, let me just use my right away real quick. That way I don't instantly die. Get them all kind of together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all need to relax. Relax, relax, relax. This is a crowd stopper. Relax, relax. And even if it doesn't kill them, you can cripple them. This is also a crippling build, like I said. So, if they're not dead, well, they're dead. But if they don't die, you can cripple them. 
Uh oh. Oh no, I started a fire. Go, 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 go. Let me uh, show you how well the vats worked on him. Since, since y'all are the only two left. <sighs> I feel accomplished. The ghouls are no more. Now let's get into the build and the weapon and where to get the mods. Over in the build, these are all my normal perk cards that I use. I'm not going to go in depth in the build. If you want to know the exact build that I used, I'll link both of my pepper shaker builds in the description below. One is a VATS non-power armor build, which is the one that I'm using currently. And the other is a power armor build. So make sure to check those out. But these are all the normal perk cards and the ones that I use for the build. Now let's get into the weapon. Over in the weapon, what I decided to use for the demonstrations is my three-starred anti-armor pepper shaker. And the anti-armor effect is it ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a 25% faster fire rate, and has your VAT's critical meter fills 15% faster. This is my dream pepper shaker. It is either this or a bloodied version of this, and I'm so happy this landed in my hands because I can play with either a low health or a high health build with this weapon. But over in the mods, what I used for the barrel is the dual barrel, because with my VAT's build, it just works perfect. It gives me improved rate of fire and improved damage. But if I was running my power armor build, I would throw on the hex barrel. This one gives me a superior rate of fire, but with a little bit of decreased damage. Then we have the single barrel, which is it's good, it's fine, but I do not prefer to use it. But this one fires more pellets per shot. Over in the magazine, we have three of them. We have our laser magazine, plasma, and standard. Standard gives you your shotgun bullets, Laser Magazine gives you your laser bullets, and Plasma Magazine gives you your plasma rounds. Now both of these both give energy damage, which is the same, and doesn't give any more than that, so just choose whichever color you like more. Over in the sights, we have our standard sights, which is what it comes with, or the gunner sights, which I recommend this one. It gives you the better focus and sighted accuracy. Now sadly we do not have any skins or anything like that for this gun, but with all that being said, now let me show you how to get the mods for the weapon. To obtain the mods for the pepper shaker, what you're going to want to do is either max out your settler or raider reputation, and once you have them maxed, you can purchase the mods from the gold bullion vendor, or if you want to bypass all of that and make it super duper easy on yourself, head over to vault 79. And once you're at Vault 79 and make your way inside, say hello to all the wonderful Secret Service people because they're a little bit sketchy and I don't know if they're going to stab us in our back if we just turn away. So just be as nice as you can, get your things and get out, but to make your way over to Regs. Once you're at Regs, he will have dun dun dun, our mods for our Pepper Shaker. As you can see, there are only 200 gold bullion, so snatch them all up. But this is how you get all the mods, this is the build and the demonstrations. And guys, if you enjoyed the Fallout 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fallout 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.